Hi, my name is Jason Matthew, and welcome to the Weekend EduTech channel, where we make learning technology simple and fun. Recently, Canva released a suite of tools powered by artificial intelligence. Today, we'll be using the following tools to create from scratch a complete ready-to-use presentation with notes in two different languages in less than five minutes. So there are two ways in which we can do this. First, we can go to the left menu, click on Magic Studio, and when we do that, we get access to all of Canva AI tools like, for instance, Magic Design and the one that we're going to start with, Magic Design for Presentations. The other way in which we can do it is to go back to the home page and click on Presentations, and there you can get a range of different formats. We're going to use the classic 16 to 9 ratio, so that one. And if you look there, there are already templates that you could choose from. But today we're going to be using the artificial intelligence that is built into Canva. And we're going to give it a prompt and let it customize and create a presentation for us. So for this example, we're going to use the prompt, create a presentation on the life cycle of a butterfly for grade two students. So I'm going to type that prompt into the search bar. Once I finish typing the prompt in, I click return or enter on the keyboard and Magic Design is going to start doing its thing. Now there's an option to add media. If you have your own media, you can add your own media. And there's also the brand option where if you have specific colors that you use for your presentation, you can apply them there as well. But today I'm just going to stick with what Canva has produced. And so I can click on see all to see all the different presentations that Canva has done. So Canva has created four of them first. And if you hover over any one of them, you can see the different slides that makes up that presentation. So you can hover over each presentation and see which one best applies to you. For this demo here, I'm just going to choose the first one. So I click on it and it shows me the seven pages. And if I click on apply all seven pages, it brings the presentation over. And if I click on present, let's see what we have so far. So present full screen, present. I like this slide. It's telling the students what they're going to be learning. Just quite interesting that this looks like it's a duck, <laughs> not a butterfly. But the AI is not perfect, and we'll talk a little bit more about that later on. Okay, so I click on Escape, come out of the presentation. Let's discuss what we have so far. In less than a minute, we were able to create a presentation from scratch based on the prompt that we have, and it has actual slides, actual graphics, actual content that relates to the prompt. So that's amazing. In less than one minute, we already have a first draft. But wait, there's more. The next AI tool that we're going to be looking at is one called Magic Write. And with Magic Write, you can build on the text that is already there. So you can do some real cool stuff. Let's look at that. Okay, let's go to the start of the presentation. And let's choose slide three, for instance. Now, if I click on the text there in slide three, the Magic Write option comes up. Now, if I click on Magic Write, I get a few things. I could click on Continue Writing. And what that does is that the artificial intelligence is going to build on the text that is already there. So let's just go back and see what we have. Butterflies have four stages in their life cycle. Egg, lava, pupa, and adult. Each stage has a unique appearance and purpose. Let's explore. So let's click on the text, click on Magic Write, and we're going to click on Continue Writing. All right, so what it did is that Magic Write actually took each of the points there and has expanded a lot on it. So if we want to see it, let me kind of minimize it a bit. And if I move... Well, I need to ungroup the text, the title. If I move the title away a little bit, as you can see there, and I have to get the text to all fit now. You see, so that is, you have to do a little, you have to do a little formatting. All right, and let me get this slide a little bigger. Right, so it has built a lot on it, and then you could do your further editing, but let's say that's too much. Uh, you could use Magic Write, and you can click on the Canva Assistant on the side here to get it. Let's summarize text. And then we get this now, and I could, I could enlarge this. So it has summarized all that text that was there. And Magic Write could do some other things. It could make it more fun. It could make it formal. It could fix spelling. 
And then it has this option, Sprinkle Fairy Dust, which sometimes goes into a kind of story mode. So let's let's see what happens if I click on Sprinkle Fairy Dust. So this might be fun for like the younger learners. Behold the magical transformation of the butterfly, a creature of wonder and enchantment. So that's what it can do. So Magic Write is a really a good companion to have when you're trying to fine tune the content on your slides. You could expand on what you already have, or you could summarize, or you could change the whole tone of it. So it's really a good companion to have. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to undo all of this and go to the, return to the original slide. So one easy way I could do that is I could click here and say replace current page. So it goes back to its original form. Now another thing that we can do is we could use a tool called Magic Morph. And what Magic Morph does is I transform words and shapes into something else based on the prompt you're giving it. So the way in which you access Magic Morph is that you go to the left menu and you click on Apps. And on Search, you're going to click Magic Morph. And it's this one, you're going to choose Magic Morph. And you're going to click Open. Okay, so I'll go to the title page and I'm going to choose the text that I have there. As you can see, I've selected the text, so it comes up here. Step one, select an element in your design, the life cycle of a butterfly, because I've selected. If I select out of it, like if I click out on the slide, you see it goes. Well, let's select the life cycle of a butterfly now. Comes back. Step two, describe the look. Now, there are some examples here. I'm seeing pumpkin, and since Halloween is coming soon, let's click on pumpkin, and you can see what, when I click on pumpkin, it says, describe the look, Halloween pumpkin. And now I'm going to click Magic Morph. So it gives you four options you could choose from. It even gives you an option to create again. And remember, Canva is saying this technology is new and improving. And if you're not getting what you should be getting, please report it. Personally, I find that using the Magic Morph tool with text right now, it's a hit or miss. Sometimes you get great results, sometimes you don't. But the whole idea about the Magic Morph is that you could use that tool to add texture to your text on your slides. Click on this one here to show you what happens. So this is what it looks like. Now I should tell you, the Magic Morph is creating, the format is an image. So you can't edit the text anymore. Let's say I wanted to remove the word life. I can't do it for the image that Magic Morph has created. I can't edit the image. So once you create it there, that's it. Right, let me undo all those things. All right, and I'll delete it. And you could try different things. So let me select the text once again, and I'm going to put markings on a butterfly wings. Let's see what comes up. Magic Morph. Oh, not so great. But let me click on this one and see what it looks like. Nah, nothing. All right, so as I said, I'm, I've not been having great success with morphing text. I strongly expect the technology improves as the AI models are trained some more. I'm sure it's going to get better. Maybe you are having better luck than I do. If, if you all are using some prompts that are working, please share them in the comments. I also think you might be have to tweak the different fonts as well to see which one works best with this. So take a look at that and let me know. What I do find works really well is if you try to morph a shape using this tool. So let's add a shape. So you go to elements and on the shapes, you could click on see all and you can choose any shape there. So I'll choose probably this guy. I'm going to bring it over here a little above the title. And let's go back to magic morph. Now, if you're using magic morph for the first time, you'd have clicked on apps and do a search for it like what we did before. But because I've used it already, it's now sitting there on the left-hand side. So I click on Magic Morph. I have the shape selected. So it says, select an element in your design. So the shape is already selected. And what I'm going to put in there, I'm going to just type in butterflies and see what happens. Click Magic Morph. Oh, wow. And look at that. We got some real cool options there. So I can click on this one. And I can bring it over. I can delete what I originally had. And boom, look how cool that is in less than a minute. Okay, so let's see what we have so far. If I click on present, 
this is the presentation we have so far as you can see there is no animations yet and if I click on share I could download it as a PDF as well so you have those options now let's go back to the first page and speaking of animations Canva also has an AI tool that adds animations automatically to your presentation in less than a minute so to access that function, that feature, you click on any element on a slide and you see on the top menu it has animate. You click on animate and then make sure that you are on page animations. You click on page animations and that's where, that's where you see magic animate. Instantly apply perfectly suited animations and transitions. So let's click on that. So magic animate has analyzed our presentation and it's recommending the playful style. So I'm gonna click on that and it says your design has been animated. So let's see how that looks. We're gonna click on present and then we're gonna click on present again. And there we go. Animations instantly added. Now the AI is far from perfect. As I was going through the presentation, I saw that one of the image is a, a duckling coming out of, of its egg. And what does that have to do with butterflies? That may be a image you'll want to remove and replace it with something more appropriate for butterfly life cycle. All right, so I'll go back to the first slide by clicking on thumbnail one. Okay, so I'm going to go to slide three, click on slide three. And then I'm going to show you another feature it's called Magic Switch. And Magic Switch can be found on the top menu. So you click on Magic Switch and it says Magic Resize got an upgrade. You can now translate and transform. All your resize options are still here in Magic Switch. So let's go to Translate. Now before I go there, let me return to slide three. You see everything is in English. Butterflies has, have four stages in their life cycle, egg, lava, pupa, and adult. Each stage has a unique appearance and purpose. Let's explore. All right, so I return to Magic Switch. I click on Translate, and then it asks me, translate to what language? And as you can see, there's a lot of options to choose from. In this case, I want to translate the English to French. So I have the French option and it's asking me, do you want Magic Switch to translate all seven pages? So you have that option, but if you click on the drop down menu, if you want, you can leave it as is to translate all seven pages. But if you want to just translate one page, you can also do that. So you click on, let's say for this example, you want to translate page three and then I click on, and then it says another option is translate existing design without creating a copy. There are two ways in which translate will work. Either it translates the presentation and creates a new copy of it with the translation, or it just translates and overrides whatever is there. So I'll just check translate existing design without creating a copy, and I click translate. And just like that, it has translated the English that was there on that slide to French. So I'm gonna click on the undo button, and I'm gonna show you an another feature again in Magic Switch, and this time we're gonna transform into Doc. So let's do that. Now there's some real cool stuff we could do here. We could have a summary. So let's click on summary and see what that looks like. Click transfer into Doc. When it's finished, you can click open Doc, and there's a nice little summary you could share with your students. Let's go back to Magic Switch again. Transfer into Doc. Let's say we wanted to pull all the text from the slides and give it as a handle to the students. We can do that as well by clicking on the all text option. Click transform into doc. Once Canva is finished doing its thing, it's gonna tell you open the doc. And now it has pulled all the text. You could have a great handout to your students. Uh, you just click on share. You can click on download. And there it has different format options in which you could download the notes into. Let's see what else. We have transform into doc. And you could do it as a blog as an email and what's real interesting is song lyrics it will even create a song based on your presentation so let's try that out transform into doc open doc and boom you've got a song for the presentation we just built
Now we were going through each step nice and slow, but if you were doing this on your own, you realize that in less than five minutes, you would have created a presentation, you would have a presentation in different languages, you could have a blog post, an email, notes handouts, and even a song created in less than five minutes. How awesome is that? As an educator, you might be concerned that if artificial intelligence is doing all of this, then what is my role? Am I going to be replaced by AI? I view AI as my co-pilot. The output from AI, while functional, is not perfect. And we even saw it in this example. It's the first draft. Think of the AI as producing the first draft or something. And I can now use my time to add further edits and fine-tune the presentation for my learners. Also, artificial intelligence is known to hallucinate. That is, it can generate false or misleading information. It is essential that educators review the information produced by AI before sharing with their learners. There are a lot of benefits of having AI as your co-pilot. For one, there's rapid content creation. Teachers can quickly generate presentation materials for their lessons. This is especially helpful when they need to create presentations on short notice, reducing the time spent on design and formatting. Educators can allocate more time to teaching and interacting with students rather than spending excessive time on presentation design. Visual storytelling. The feature can help students learn the art of visual storytelling, making their presentations more engaging and effective in conveying their ideas. Design fundamentals. Canva's AI tool can serve as a tool for teaching students about the fundamentals of design, such as layout, color, typography, and visual hierarchy, as they review and edit the automatically generated presentations. Multilingual support. Teachers and students can input text in one language and have the AI generate presentations in multiple languages, promoting language learning and cross-cultural understanding. Customization skills. By using the automatically generated content as a starting point, educators can teach students how to customize and personalize presentations to meet specific needs and preferences. Collaborative learning. Encouraging students to work together on generating and customizing presentations using this tool can foster collaborative learning and peer teaching. Assistive technology. For students with learning disabilities or those who require additional support, AI-generated presentations can be a valuable assistive technology tool. Professional development. Educators can use the tool to create professional development materials for themselves and colleagues, improving the quality of in-house training. Now, there are some limitations depending on the type of Canva account that you have. Let's return to the Canva's homepage. And if you look at plans and pricing, and we look at compare pricing, you see there's, for instance, a free account, a pro account. Um, these are yearly prices. If you click on monthly, you see what the monthly price for one person, or if you want to get into team. There's limited accessibility to the AI tools that we are discussing if you're using a free account. If you're using a pro account, like what I was using, you have access to all the tools, but you have to pay for it. Now, the good news for teachers and schools, so I'm going to click on the For Teachers and Schools tab, is that there is a Canva for Education account, and it's 100% free for primary and secondary teachers and students. So your school, the district, teachers, you all could have a free access to a free Canva account, and you can look at that page to get all the details on how you get access to that. So Canva Studio is fun and easy to use. It can create stunning designs in seconds. Please let us know in the comment section below how you are using Canva Studio. Let me know if you have any questions. Maybe you'll have better luck using Magic Morph on text than I do. Please share the prompts you use. Please hit that like button if this video was useful. And please support us by subscribing to our channel. Bye for now. Take care.